This is a city like many others. Like those others, this city is vulnerable to climate change and natural disasters. In the last 30 years, floods, droughts, cyclones, earthquakes, and other natural disasters have killed an estimated 2.3 million people and caused $3.5 trillion in economic damage, leaving places like this devastated for years after a disaster occurs. It doesn't have to be this way. If our city had invested in preventative measures like early warning systems for cyclones, resilient housing, building codes, seawalls to prevent storm surge, or more resilience-minded planning, when the natural disaster struck, the damage could have been much less. Investing in climate and disaster resilience may seem like a high upfront expense, but the benefits clearly outweigh the costs. A single disaster can cost up to 3 to 6% of a developing country's GDP, wiping out years of development gains the country has worked hard to attain. This is important now, of course, but climate change is increasing the probability and severity of disasters every year, in addition to posing increasing and serious threat to our agricultural production and health of the population. Not only that, but there are many other trends that increase vulnerability. More at-risk populations, more concentrated assets, and unplanned cities. Risk increases on a daily basis. If we don't invest in resilience now, Cities like this simply won't survive. We need to invest in climate and disaster resilience, not only in infrastructure, but across all sectors, including transportation, energy, agriculture, education, health, gender, housing, and livelihoods. Please visit our website to learn more about how to incorporate disaster and climate resilience 